Today we'll be making rainy day umbrella patterns. Our first step is to draw your umbrella. To begin, you'll need a white piece of paper and a pencil. Place your non-dominant hand towards the top of the paper, making sure to spread it as wide as you can, and place a dot above each finger with a pencil. Then, turn your paper upside down and match the lower two dots with your thumb and pinky finger. Draw a dot above the remaining three fingers. You should have a total of eight dots on your page. Next, you'll connect your upper left dot with your lower right dot with a straight line and then your upper right dot with the lower left dot with a straight line. You should see an X on your paper. Next, using a pencil, connect each outer dot with slightly curved lines. You'll finish drawing your umbrella sections with diagonal lines. Note that some of the ends will curve a bit. Step two, drawing your body and boots. Draw your body and boots below. Do you want a coat, a dress, or shorts? It's up to you. Finish by drawing your rain boots. Finally, draw a rain puddle around the rain boots. Once you're finished, trace your art with a black permanent marker. Three, creating patterns. For this step, you'll need your markers and crayons. Use colored markers to fill in the umbrella sections with patterns. Make sure each section of the umbrella is different pattern and color. You can use different types of lines to create different patterns. Think loops, circles, spirals, crisscross lines, teardrops, squiggles, waves, dots, hearts. It's up to you. Once you've drawn your patterns with markers, use crayons to fill in the background of each shape. Don't forget to color your body in boots. Step four, creating your rain with crayon. Using a blue crayon, create your rain. Make sure your umbrella legs and boots all stay dry. Let's think about what kind of rainy day it might be. How can we draw the rain in different ways? How can we show light rain or big raindrops or sideways rain? 
Don't forget to color in some of the rain puddle. If you're using watercolor in the next step, you can use a white crayon to draw in more raindrops. It's hard to see the white crayon at first, but when we paint the watercolors later, we'll see what we have drawn. Step five, watercolor the sky. This step is optional. You'll need watercolors, a watercolor brush, some water, and some paper towel. We will paint our background with watercolor paints. The blue and white crayon we used will resist the watercolor and show through. First, just using water and a brush, we'll paint the background all the way around the umbrella until it's all wet. Then we'll add in our different colors to create the rainy sky. I like to use shades of blue and purple and black to create the different sky moods. Make sure you brush in different directions or swirl your brush so the colors blend together. All done, now we let it dry. Don't forget to assign your masterpiece.